cast all your anxiety. This anxiety, let's, let's talk about cast here for a second. So I have a fishing pole. And what do you do when you go fishing? You, what do you do with a line when you go fishing? What do you do to it? You cast it, all right? So I need you to be real careful because there's a real large hook at the end of this. I'm not gonna do this. You know I'm not gonna do it. I do have a couple of weights on the bottom. But what we do, and I'm not gonna cast violently and vigorously because vigor, like, it's maybe a David and Goliath accidental moment, so I'm not gonna do that either. But what we do is we cast, right, our cares. We cast it away. We get rid of it. But what do, we, what do we do when we fish? What do we do when we cast our anxiety? We typically do the same thing. We start reeling it back in. We're like, oh man, um, that hot water heater, um, I don't know how to do gas hot water heater. It may explode. I don't know. How much does a gas hot water heater cost? Oh, now I'm starting to worry about it. Nope, nope. You know what? God's got it. He's going to take care of it. Uh, he's going to help me get through it. I'm casting my anxiety out. Sorry if I hit you. Sorry, John. Um, I cast it out there. And, and oh, no, I'm, I, I don't know. I lost my job. I'm, I'm worried. The anxiety of what I'm feeling, the care, the, the, the anxiousness that I have, that I start bringing it back in and I start worrying about it. I start worrying about it. I start worrying. Uh, my kids, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if what they're going to end up doing. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, nope, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cast my cares out again. So we keep doing, we go through the cycle of casting it and bringing it back in and casting it and bringing it back in. And so if you put that verse up for me real quick. Um, Verse uh, seven, I believe, yes. It says, cast your anxiety. This anxiety, actually, if you get down to the root of it, it means divide. The worries that you have that divide you. So when you think about it, what is it that divides you? I know I'm supposed to do this, but I feel like doing this. Or I know God says to do this, but I feel like doing this. Or this thing is weighing on me so much, but I know God says to cast it away. But it's the, so the things that that divide us, God says, cast it. He doesn't say cast and reel it back in. He says, cast all your anxiety, not some, cast all your anxiety on him. Because here's what it comes down to. Because he cares for you. And here's where it comes down. If we keep reeling this back in over and over and over again, we have to ask ourselves and just be honest and say, do we really trust him? If I take the worries, if I take the, the suffering that I go through and I keep pulling it back in, I have to ask myself an honest question. Do I really trust God that he will take care of this or that he'll take care of me? Or do I feel like I have to go? It's not that we don't do anything. I'm not saying that at all. But what it is, is I put my hope, I put my faith, I put my trust, I put everything that I have in my struggle, in my trial, I put it in him. In humility, because in humility, that's where I really, truly trust him. God, I believe you. God, I know you. But sometimes, God, you handle situations differently than I would. Because I want to punch the guy in the throat. Right? It's like we want to handle things differently than the way God. God, I, I know what you want me to do. And I'm afraid that you're going to ask me to do this. And I don't want to do this. So I'm going to just reel it back in instead of actually trusting you and stepping into the place where God has asked us to go. And so what we need to do is we need to take in our life and say, I'm casting it and I'm letting go of it. And I'm gonna give it to God. Now, I'm not minimizing pain that we go through. I'm not minimizing the suffering that we go through. It, it's real. But God is there and he cares for you in your suffering. In my suffering, he cares 